Greetings, people. Welcome back to the Stephen Richards Show. I'm here today to present a guest in this comfortable setting here, Von, Dr. Von Blitz, Blitzkrieg. Now, he's a psychiatrist with a mind for thinking. He's a wacko that's whacking. Anyway, he's here to introduce today a disease that's affecting America, Impressionitis. So let's bring him out. Dr. Von Blitzkrieg, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, yes, yes. This is, this is Mr. Stefan Ricardo. Thank you for for bringing me on to the show. Yeah, impressionitis. We have we have been studying this for many years, and and there was this upcropping of people doing voices on impressions, doing the accents of foreign characters and foreign voices, and uh, and imitating the celebrities and people with distinctive voices. What 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 are, what are you here for? Uh, impressionitis. Im impre oh. Is that that crackpot disease thing that they're talking about in tabloids? Oh, so you're you're taking it seriously, Im Im impressionitis. I think they're all daft and they ought to get a life. That's what I say. I don't really know much about it, imp impressionist painters. It's uh, it's not really something I've I've been that well versed in. You see, I mean, if you ask me about the, you know the artists, I I I'm I'm just not really. I mean, there's Rembrandt and who, who else was there? You know that they, they do these uh, momentary p painting things. Uh, oh, so it, the disease impressionitis. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I haven't heard of that actually. Um, I, I need you to be meddling for a while. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that's my Jimmy story, you see. You know, and and, and uh, um, just, just tell me what you need to to, to to get a warrant. You need bloody footsteps leading up to the door there. You know, I, I, what, what do you want from me here? I I don't, I don't quite understand. You know. The young people are doing impressions of celebrities and stuff. It's it's heartbreaking to me. I mean, I've heard about these things. I have witnessed them as an actor. You come across these things. It's, you know, the backbone of the bread and butter of theater, and and then all of a sudden it's consuming you, and you thought you could escape it in everyday life. And now, now it's, it's uh, on all sides of us. We are enveloped by it. Modern young people are compelled to do impressions and and imitate various accents, celebrities, that kind of thing, and, you know, mimic these voices. And, uh, and ev evidently if they have impressionitis, they just can't stop. It's one of those things. Kind of like how I can't stop squinting. <laughs> uh, how can you devil you? I love that part. Good evening, America. I'm Tom Brokaw. Thank you for stopping by. Um, and so, regarding this whole issue of impressionitis, that's, it was there was a time when the whole impressions thing was an innocent pastime in American society. You know, at the office, you know, at your water cooler break, they, you, someone would do impressions, and we'd amuse each other, and it would be entertaining, and then... It's gotten out of hand, and now it's an epidemic. Cluzeau. Chief Inspector Jacques Cluzeau. You see, I was accessed as a representative of the French culture, and to investigate as the greatest detective the world has ever known, you know. It is me, Cluzeau. And so, what I think is that there are these impressions where people are taking things and you know, smashing them into something soft that they make an impression into, like the clay or the pillow, you know. Uh, yes. And I think this whole investigation is, you know, as the odds are high and the stakes are deeper, that the greater the odds, the greater the channels. And as always, I accept the channels. And, uh, that is why I have always failed where others have succeeded. Absolutely, you know. And I see I'll be scouring the earth and collecting the clears and determining what it is that has caused this incredible problem.